And now over to my colleague, Jeff Shearley. The incomparable setting of St. Peter's Square and a crowd of half a million to witness the first coronation of a pope ever held outside the basilica. Preceded by cardinals, archbishops, bishops and heads of religious orders, Pope Paul, borne aloft on the Sedia Gestatoria and flanked by officials of the papal court and the Vatican Guard. colourful highlights of the ceremony which lasted more than two and a half hours. Upon the altar, the crown. And at the altar, built on the steps of the basilica, the Pope celebrates Mass. It was a spectacle which he later referred to as so solemn, so magnificent and expressive that it cannot but move our souls. A spectacle never before seen by so many people. Seated on the chair of St. Peter, clad in magnificent cope and mitre, His Holiness receives the homage of the Cardinals. Now, as dusk is falling, the solemn moment that all have been so eagerly awaiting. Watched by Italy's President Segni, King Verdois and Queen Fabiola, among six European heads of state, Cardinal Ottaviani places the crown upon the head of the father of princes and kings, guide of the world. His Holiness then pronounces his blessing to the city and the world. Among the vast congregation, a group of miners, symbolic of Pope Paul's deep interest in the welfare of humble people. Largely due to the influence of his well-loved predecessor, Pope John, the whole world has turned with great and renewed confidence towards the papacy. It's the fervent hope of millions that Pope John's great vision of Christian unity will be realized during the reign of Pope Paul. <laughs> 